So this video is looking at an S2 question on hypothesis testing. So we're told at the start that we have a rate of seven visits per minute. So we know immediately that it's going to be something to do with the Poisson distribution. So we have lambda of seven, and it gives us our test statistic that in one random minute, there are 10 visits to the server. So for part A, it wants us to test a 10% level of significance whether there's evidence that the rate of visits is greater on a Saturday. So what we're looking at is whether this test statistic of 10 is large enough to show that the rate on a Saturday may not be 7. So it says state your hypotheses clearly. So our H0, as always, is going to be that we assume that what we're told is true, so that the rate is actually 7. And then we're asked to check whether it's greater than. So our alternative hypothesis is that lambda is greater than 7. Now if we want to test whether 10 is significant enough then what we want to look at is whether the probability that x is 10 or more is less than 0.1. Essentially we're trying to work out is whether the probability that 10 or more is within that top 10%. So the probability of x being greater than or equal to 10, we know is going to be 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to 9. So what we want to look at, really, is in the Poisson tables, what is the probability of x is less than or equal to 9? Is it greater than 90%? So here are the Poisson tables. So we're going to lambda equals 7. And then we go down and we can see that probability of x being less than or equal to 9 is 0 0.8305. So it was 8305. So that gives us the probability of it being greater than or equal to 10. So if the probability that x is greater than or equal to 10 is 0.1695, then this is greater than 0.1. So we can say that testing at a 10% level of significance, we would not accept the alternate hypothesis. We would accept the null hypothesis. So we would say there is not sufficient evidence at a 10% level. We reject H1. Now the next bit says state the minimum number of visits required to obtain a significant result. So this is saying what is the critical region essentially. So looking for the critical region, we're looking for the value of x for which greater than that value is going to be 10% or less. Now looking at the tables again, we can see that x being less than or equal to 10 is 0 0.9015 and that's by far the closest to 0 0.9. So if the probability of x being less than or equal to 10 is 90% then that means that the critical region must be 11 or more. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 10 is 0 0.9015 so that means that the probability of x being greater than or equal to 11 is less than 10%. So the critical region is 11 or more visits. Now stating an assumption that's been made about the visits to the server is going to be anything to do with a Poisson distribution. So things like it's independent, that we assume things happen singly, that it's random, 
anything really to do with Poisson. Now the next bit, we're told that in a random two minute period, so that's the first thing we need to think of, because if it's a two minute period, then now we're looking at lambda being 14. Oh, let's try that again. We're looking at lambda being 14. And we're told that our new test statistic is that x equals 20. Now, it says use a suitable approximation. So obviously we need to use a suitable approximation. And again, we're testing at 10%. Now the question is why do we need to use a suitable approximation? And the key here is that our value of lambda is now 14. Now, if we look in the tables, we can see that our table only goes up to 10. So the reason we have to use an approximation is not that this isn't suitable for Brassel anymore, it's purely a practicality. We can't do it. So, instead, because lambda is reasonably large, we can use a normal approximation. So we can say that we can approximate, we can approximate x using the normal distribution. Remember we have a mean and a variance of whatever lambda is, so in this case 14. Now the key thing to remember when you're doing a normal approximation to Poisson is that you must do the continuity correction. So let's think about what we're trying to show. If I'm trying to test whether 20 is significant at a 10% level, what I'm looking for is I want to know what the probability is of x being greater than or equal to 20. Now if x being greater than or equal to 20 is less than 10%, then we know that it's significant at a 10% level. Now, the continuity correction, if I want to do x is greater than or equal to 20, that's going to be the same as x being greater than or equal to is continuous, so it really doesn't matter, 19.5 because this includes the 20, so we've got to take the 0.5 below as well. So this is our continuity correction. And now we're just doing a normal distribution question. So if I want to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 19.5, so here's our normal, we've got a mean of 14, so we're looking for this bit, where that's 19.5. So we know that what we actually need to do is 1 minus the probability that x is less than 19.5. So we standardise. So 19.5 minus 14 over, and then remember, it's going to be root 14 on the bottom. So that gives us 1.47. So then we need to look up in the normal tables. So in the normal tables we're looking at 1.47 and that gives us a value of 0.9292. So if the probability of x is less than 19.5 is 0.9292. Then that gives us the probability that x is greater than 19.5. we get 0 0.0708. Now the important thing there is that 0 0.0708 is less than 0 0.1. So that means that our test statistic of x equals 20 is in the critical region. It is significant at a 10% level. So we would say that there is evidence to support rejecting H0 and accepting H1 at a 10% level. And it's always nice to perhaps put it in context, so there is evidence that there is a greater rate on Saturday than on weekdays. So in summary, 
first bit of this was reasonably straightforward, just a Poisson question. Adding on the approximation made it a little bit harder, but you know how to do this. The most common mistake here is forgetting to do the continuity correction. So as soon as you're going from Poisson or binomial to the normal distribution, you've got to think continuity correction.